drums and talk romance My heart starts doing the same fighters dance And I'm panting And I'm shaking Early in the morning time Late in the middle of the night Whenever this chill comes over me I wanna hug you with all of my mind And, and I'm sweating And I'm shaking Fever, I've been told Makes your head spin around And your feet run cold I got fever And I'm shaking Feel like I've been run through the mill I can't move around And I can't stand still I'm so jittery And I'm shaking Samson was a mighty good man Strongest in his day And then along came Delilah and clipped his wig And it looks like it took me the same old way So I'm nervous And I'm Thanks so much for listening It's time for the news coming up This is Radio 2 On BBC Sounds And on your smart speaker Play BBC Radio 2 BBC News at 10 o'clock This is Claire Runacres the government plans to introduce a new law forcing fuel retailers to make up-to-the-date pricing information available to consumers. It follows a review by the Competition and Markets Authority, which found motorists paid an extra six pence a litre on average for petrol and diesel at supermarkets last year. The CMA's chief executive, Sarah Cardell, would like swift action. We want to require all of the retailers to provide real-time information about their prices at every petrol station across the UK, not only in giving that to motorists directly, but also to feed that information into comparison sites, to, to sat-navs and the like, so that that information is available to motorists. They can get a better deal, but critically, the retailers will also be under greater competitive pressure to offer better deals. The Met Office has confirmed that last month was the hottest June on record. The average temperature was 15.8 Celsius. The previous record was 14.9. A man who pleaded guilty in court to murdering his wife and their two young children has been jailed for life with a minimum term of 40 years. Sarju Chalavalal carried out the attacks in Kettering last December. Train drivers who are members of the Aslev Union will refuse to work overtime for a second week from the 17th of July. Today, drivers at 15 train companies based in England began their first six-day overtime ban as part of a long-running pay dispute. Katie Austin reports. Passengers are being warned to expect disruption this week and plan ahead. That's because most operators rely on drivers working overtime to some extent to run their full timetables. Aslev has turned down successive pay rises of 4%, dependent on changes to ways of working. Aslev has accused the train companies and the government of not wanting a resolution. But the rail delivery group, which speaks for the employers, called on Aslev to recognise the financial challenges facing the industry. The new overtime ban announced today, beginning on the 17th of July, will overlap with two strike dates by the RMT. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said a major military operation at the Janine refugee camp in the occupied West Bank will continue for as long as needed. Palestinian politicians have described it as an invasion and say at least eight people have been killed. New research using smartwatches has discovered it may be possible to diagnose Parkinson's disease up to seven years before key symptoms appear. Scientists at the Dementia Research Institute in Cardiff asked a group of volunteers to wear smartwatches as tracking devices and discovered early warning signs of the degenerative condition. Dr Cynthia Sandor says the behaviour of those who eventually developed Parkinson's was different. We find that people are napping during the day. They can sleep more than the normal population and they can wake up, they can move more during the night. We find some movement activity during the night. And the weather. Most areas will be dry with clear spells, rain developing in Wales and southern England. BBC News, it's three minutes past ten. It's Trevor Nelson's Magnificent Seven. And it's good evening, one and all. How are you, everybody? Thank you, Keris. Blue Show returns next week, as always. How you been, everyone? Hope you had a good weekend. I thought, you know, I'm going to start the Magnificent Seven tonight with a Stone Cold classic. The Magnificent Seven on BBC Radio 2. Hey. 